For many people, dating is a complicated task. But have no fear, dating apps are here. And many of them you like. If you're looking for a wide range of folks, there is Tinder. If you love the Lord, there's Christian Mingle. But if you're, well, gay or bisexual, there is an app allegedly called uh, Grinder. Now, let's kind of stick to the apps altogether. Some people like to be a little bit conspicuous because they don't want people to know who they are or they don't want people to know what they do. And if you're a person that's a man of God and you're looking to get on dating apps, you probably don't want to get on there as yourself, especially if you secretly like something else. Rewind, Nima! And that is the story of the good Reverend Dr. Alfonso Joseph, who at the time was a 48 year old pastor in the Florida area. Now, if you look at this guy, he looks like a man of God. He even has the, the Catholic style church clergy robe material to match. Looks legit to me until one day he got on the dating app looking for somebody else. Now, stop the show. If I'm not mistaken, Alfonso Joseph is a married man with kids and he's a man of God. So why is he on a dating app? Can I get a da 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 sound effect? Well, you know what? We're going to find out from our good brothers right here. Now, in this particular area of Florida, Pastor Alfonso Joseph was known in many church circles. He went on the evangelism field. He preached at several churches throughout Florida. Many individuals in the congregation went to him for spiritual advice, marital advice, advice on singlehood or how to be just a good Christian. In his congregation and in many church circles, he was considered to be an upright man of God, a marker of masculinity, a mighty man of valor, a man among men. But that all changed on the evening of July 14th in the year of our Lord 2022 when Pastor Alfonso Joseph was found in the backseat of a car with his pants down. Let me tell you the story. The 911 center had received a noise complaint late the night of July 14, 2022. The caller complained of loud music in the direction of the golf course. An officer arrived at the scene and found a gray Toyota Camry somewhere near or on the golf course. When the officer shined a light on the vehicle, it shook and the deputy saw two males pulling up their pants. Take a breath. When the officer shined the light on the vehicle, it shook and the deputy saw two males pulling up their pants. One of them was a 15-year-old and the other was Pastor Alfonso Joseph. Now, the lad told officers that he met Pastor Alfonso Joseph on a dating app grinder that same day and he provided Pastor Joseph with his address and that Pastor Joseph then picked him up and took him to the area of the golf course where Pastor Alfonso Joseph performed oral services on him, according to the arrest report. I want to give a shot to Dawson Speaks TV YouTube channel for actually reporting on this, but there was also some reports after the pastor got called. Let's play that. Now let's put his picture up again. Uh, now let me be very clear. Obviously there's no issue with the sexuality. There's an issue with his molestation. He is a predator. Another deputy spoke with Joseph separately, the Reverend, he said, he and the child were just uh, just chilling, was the quote. He was shirtless, but he said he had taken his shirt off only because it was hot. But he too conceded that he met the minor on Grinder, but that requires users to be at least 18, a requirement easily circumvented obviously. So the preacher said the boy told him he was 18 according to his arrest report. He admitted to engaging in sex with the child that would amount to unlawful sexual activity, a second degree felony. Now, let me talk about this because the pastor said, hey, listen, you know, I met the guy on Grindr, but the person that he met was underage. But he, the pastor was like, hey, listen, well, this individual was on Grindr and that person said that they were over the age of 18. So, you know, you did catch me doing something. Booty clapping sounds. And allegedly caught you know the pastor with some meat in his mouth but hey that's kind of what happened so rashad ritchie 
was saying, well, um, being a gay is not the problem. And um, I guess there, there's the debate about that now in the church. But most churches, 99% of that, we all know what they believe about, you know, dating the same sex. I believe that is clearly outlined in the scriptures. But that's not even the main point. The main point is you are a pastor. You're a pastor. You have a wife. You have a kid. If you are a pastor, it wouldn't matter if the person was an adult or if that person was a woman or a male. Um, it def definitely matters that the person is underage, but despite the fact you shouldn't be looking for nobody anyway, you say that you are a man of God. Can I get a amen? And that's the situation right now. See, let me just tell you guys this. And we've all been um, knowing somebody or, you know, we've already heard a story like this before where, you know, you could even meet a young lady, a young lady's in the club or something like that. And, you know, and she's not of age. And we've all heard about a story like that before. Same thing with dating apps. It goes all the time. But the reality is if you are married or if you're in a relationship and you're a man of God, how about you not be on those dating apps in the first place? How about that? Because you're in the same city as your church. So you think you're going to be on there, disguised as somebody else. Then they heard the music up loud. I don't know why you had the music up loud. Well, I think, you know, booty clapping sounds. So then you get caught, you know, with the, with, with the meat pack all, all in your grill. And, um, you know, now you're going to jail for five years, right? You're going to be in jail for five years. You've been sentenced into prison for five years. Who knows what is going to happen to you in prison and your whole church career is over simply because secretly you're living a lifestyle that is against what you're probably preaching about in Palm Coast, Florida. But secondarily, you're supposed to be a man of God. All right. And again, a lot of times when people are dealing with folks who are 15 or 16 or 17, whoever, even 18, 19, 20, these people are relatively young. All right. And you all should know that they are young. That's why whenever you're going to deal with somebody and if you feel that person is, you know, young, ask for their ID. Let me just give you a story. Story time music. So the other day I was at the liquor store and, um, you know, it wasn't for me. I was buying liquor for uh, somebody, uh, it, it, you know, I was trying to get him a, a nice present because, you know, I don't really drink like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just I'm, I love the Lord. So anyways, it was um, a young lady behind the counter. And so I'm like, stop the show. Why is this 14 year old working in the liquor store? I'm like, damn, I know you can do damn near anything you want in Africa, but this is wild, right? So, you know, I'm in there, I buy my Uganda Warji, um, and then I, I leave and I, I try to leave as quickly as, as I can because I'm thinking like, hey, if this young lady is caught selling this liquor underage, Shoot, I might be in trouble and she might be in trouble, right? So I came back later on that night and the lady was still there. And um, this time she was accompanied by another guy. I said, um, young lady, I just want to ask you, uh, how old are you working at this store? The lady says she's 24 years old. I said, you're 24? She goes, yeah, I'm 24. And she said, but I just look very, very young. I said, are you serious? She's like, yeah, I'm 24. But the lady looked literally like she was 14 or 15. I mean, that's what I would have thought. And if you were to go out anywhere with her, you should want to see ID. People can be 20, 25, look 25 and be younger. But the whole idea is if you are a preacher, there is no way you should be on an app anyway, looking for anybody when you say you are a man of God. All right. You need to go ahead and handle yourself in other ways. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.